What's up guys, welcome back to Arcanum Gaming, Richie here today. Uh, just got a couple of uh, quick updates for you, and then uh, a couple other things as you can see right here. I uh, just want to let you guys know what's been going on. I haven't been posting videos as much as I have been. The reason for that being I've just been really busy with work. My main job, and then I've been working a couple extra shifts at my part-time job as well. Hopefully that's going to be clearing up fairly soon though, and we're going to be back on normal schedule, <clears throat> uh, getting a couple videos out a week instead of just one or two. Uh, like I've been doing. So as you can see guys, uh, we got a couple of Game Crafter packages in today. Uh, I ordered these about a week apart, but somehow they still managed to show up on the same day. So we're going to open them up both together. Um, if you're wondering what the stickers are, I've just covered up my shipping information there. Other thing I want to let you guys know about is uh, we're getting surprisingly close to the 100 subscriber mark. Um, honestly, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, I, I was planning something for a 50 subscriber thing, and then before I knew it, we were at like 70, so I just kind of pushed it back. Basically, what I'm planning to do for that as of right now, probably just do something simple. Probably going to do a face reveal for me and Ryan, as well as uh, if we have something tangible put together fast enough, I would like to introduce you guys to our side project we've been working on in addition to Arcanum, but we'll have to see how that goes. We've got some stuff in the works for that other game, as well as I've been working on some artwork for it and stuff, and maybe we can show you guys a little bit of that too. But that's coming up in the future. Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Um, so, I've already cracked the seal on them, because uh, I couldn't wait to open them until I got the camera set up. So, uh, I know which one is which, at least I think I did. I had it set up, I forgot now. We're just going to open them up. I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up, and then we are going to do one unboxing today as well. Um, Alright, so first of all in this box, yeah, this is the one I thought it was. We've got some stuff for Heroic, a uh, card game by uh, Scribbles with Rachel. Her channel is pretty awesome, you can go ahead and check it out. I've got a link and everything in the description, and I'll have one at the end of the video when I get a chance to edit it as well. So I picked up the Water, Fire, and Electric starter deck, and the Nature, Dark, and Light starter deck. So these are what we're going to be opening up today, is the two starter decks. And then I want to do a gameplay video with the game before I get into the booster packs. I did pick up, I got two booster packs to go with the starter decks, and then in our second package I did also get a couple more booster packs as well. Pretty excited about that. Uh, game kind of like came out of nowhere for me, didn't really know anything about it just randomly stumble on the channel. I think I was watching... Uh, who was it that gave them the shout-out? I think it was uh, TCG Art and other random things. I was watching one of his videos and he gave a shout-out uh, for Rachel's channel. I, th I think that's who it was. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, so, like I said, in this box I got two more packs for Heroic. Uh, we're going to be saving those for a uh, future date. Uh, I also went ahead and picked up uh, another uh, newer card game. I guess it's not really uh, new right now, but it's new for me. Uh, Tribe Strike has been one that I've been wanting to check out for a while. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of set one and of set two. Um, since I don't know a whole lot about the game yet, I haven't done a terrible amount of research. I just wanted to get some cards, uh, take a look at them uh, before I start um, uh, doing, I guess, more research into the game, learning how to play it and everything. And then I went ahead and picked up a couple more things for Chaos Galaxy. Still trying to finish the set one before set two comes out. I got one regular pack and then I went ahead and got one of the battle boxes so I could get the uh, special promo cards. So you'll be seeing openings for these as well as Tribe Strike and all the booster packs and everything coming up later on. But like I said for today, we're going to go ahead and uh, just open up the starter decks, take a look at what's inside, and that's going to be about it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here and reorient the camera and we'll take a look at the cards. Hey guys, just a quick little thing before we go ahead and open up the starter deck. Uh, I did say we were going to open up both today, but uh, after recording the first opening, uh, it took a lot longer than I expected it to be, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and split it up into two openings. Uh, we're going to do the first one, the Water, Fire, and Electric today, and we'll do Nature, Dark, and Light tomorrow. Again, just so we do the game justice and take a good look at all the cards inside and don't uh, go through it too quickly. So yeah, I said we were going to open up both, but today we're actually just going to open up the first one. Alright guys, we are back. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up these uh, starter decks for Heroic. Uh, again, game by uh, Scribbles with Rachel. Uh, I'll have a link down to her channel as well as 
the how to play video and I'll include a link to the Green Crafter page where you can pick it up as well. I did go ahead and double check as well and it was uh, TCG Art and other random things that I heard about Rachel's channel from. Um, I'm going to link his channel as well. If you haven't checked out his stuff, you should check him out as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to start out with the Water, Fire, and Electric deck. Take a look at that and then we'll do Nature, Dark, and Light second. So I'm just going to set this one off to the side. And these things are shrink-wrapped it looks like. So I'm going to grab my pocket knife and um, just kind of rip open the packaging here. I want to be careful that we don't damage the boxes because I do like to try and save all the packaging from the Game Crafter stuff that I buy. At least, you know, one of each uh, product just for collector's purposes. <clears throat> Alright, so let's take a look here. So, first of all, we got some really nice art. We've got a Triceratops looking guy right there. Um, that looks like the lightning staff from the How to Play video. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but. Um, so we've got set one, the battle begins, starter deck, water, fire, and electric. Um, okay, so we get six water heroes, seven fire heroes, seven electric heroes, and 20 gadgets. And then we've got Scribbles with Rachel's channel there on the bottom. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open, take a look at the cards that come in the starter deck. Okay. See, Game Crafter. All right. Uh, I don't believe that these are in any particular order, so we're just going to go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, something about this game. Uh, first of all, there's two main types of cards. You have uh, heroes. This is a hero, and then we've got gadgets. Um, that was convenient. They're right there together. Um, and then um, for heroes, there's six different elements. This one is yellow. That means it's uh, lightning or electric. Uh, yeah, electric. Uh, and then it also has a, a class as well. This is a warrior. It's got the little dagger guy. Um, creatures have power and health, and they also have a level up in the top. Level is how much they cost to cast, and also how much damage they deal when they make a direct attack to your opponent. Um, and they have their stats, which are relevant for battling with other heroes. Uh, I've got their text box. So this guy is Thunder Apprentice. Uh, when he's summoned, you get to select a Thunder class card from your dungeon, that's the discard pile, and move it to your hand. That's pretty cool. So we have uh, a Spellbook of Orvac. Uh, this is a gadget. There's four types of gadgets in the game. Uh, this one is a magic gadget. Uh, so in magic terms, that means it's a it's essentially a sorcery. You played at sorcery speed. <clears throat> um, this lets you summon an extra hero uh, in the turn that you play this card. Normally you can only play one a turn. This lets you play a second on that turn. Uh, so we have Protector of the Treasure. This is a trap gadget. That means uh, it can only be played on your opponent's turn. Uh, your opponent gains no coins for the turn this card is activated. Okay, so you play that to stop them from getting a coin that turn. And then discard it at the end of that player's turn. We have a Molten Triceratops. Looks like that's the guy from the box art. That's that's really nice. I like that artwork a lot. 350, 450. Eyes uh, a one cost. Once per turn, if you play a magic gadget, he gets 50 attack until the end of the turn. That seems good. Uh, we have a lucky exchange. Okay, so you make your opponent shuffle a card in at random and draw a new card. Seems pretty good, if I read that right. Uh, we have Flame Mouth, zero cost. <clears throat> this guy's a warrior. Uh, the Triceratops was a creature. And you can discard him to draw a card. That seems pretty good. Uh, excavation. Spend a coin, move two Molten Class Heroes from your dungeon to your hand. Uh, electrician, zero drop. Oh, uh, he summoned. You get to. Ooh. To draw an electric element hero. Seems good. We have a combustion glove. This is an equip gadget. Uh, it means it can equip to a hero you control. <clears throat> uh, so this one equips only to a fire element. 
gets 50 attack, can attack two heroes this turn, discard at the end of your turn. Okay, so buffs him up and lets him make two attacks that turn. Seems good. Bubble Bazooka. That's another equip. Uh, only equip to water element. Equipped here can attack twice this turn, discard this card at the end of your turn. Uh, we have a blizzard. Well, you have a water element here on the grid. Uh, grid is the playing field. Uh, your opponent cannot activate gadgets. Okay. This card stays on the grid for two of your opponent's turns. Alright. We have a wooden shield. Um, it's another trap. Your opponent attacks, negate the attack, and your opponent cannot attack for the rest of this turn. Uh, there's the Thunder Staff that I was right. It's the other card that we saw there on the uh, box art. I still don't know what this guy is yet. It's a clip spell for a electric. Um, protects your opponent or your um, equipped hero from trap gadgets. Superior Shield Crush. Uh, select one of your opponent's heroes. Reduce their defense by 100. Uh, sea Explorer. Then the creature type. Uh, one cost. When he's summoned, you can move a water element here from your deck to your hand. Okay. Power Tower. Electric element heroes on your side of the grid gain 50 attack and defense, not including this hero. They also cannot be affected by magic gadgets. Interesting. Uh, and that one is uh, machine type. That's what the gear is. Uh, Molten Stegosaurus. Okay. Uh, he's a one cost. I like the uh, the di the molten dinosaurs. They seem pretty cool. Uh, when you summon, you get a fire element hero. Uh, are you on a? So when he he summoned, you select one of your fire element heroes, and it gains fifty defense. Uh, looks like that's a permanent buff too. It's pretty good. Uh, we have an icicle. When it's summoned from a card effect, you can put two cards from your discard pile in your hand. Exchange your opponent attacks. Spend one coin. Take control of one of your opponent's heroes, except the attacking hero. Here you control becomes the new target of the attack. Here goes back at the end of the turn. Okay, so you grab an opponent's uh, unit that's not attacking, and um, your opponent redirects their attack to their own creature instead. Seems good. Uh, we have an excavation. Um, spend one coin, move two molten class heroes from your dungeon to your hand. A drop. I remember this guy from um, Rachel's first battle video. Um, it seemed like a really good card. Uh, he's only got 10 attack and defense. He's a zero drop, but. Uh, once per turn when your opponent attacks, you can summon a level 0 water element hero onto the grid from your deck. And if I remember correctly, that combos with the Icicle. Yeah, when it's summoned from a card effect, and then you get to bring back two cards from your discard pile to your hand. Uh, so those two work really well together. Um, I guess I haven't taken a look at the back of the cards yet. So there's what they are. Interesting. Looks like... They're a little bit off-center, but that's all right. As long as they're consistent, which they are. Um, but when we play with them, they're going to be in card sleeves anyway, so it's not going to matter too much. Um, I like the I like the way that those swords are done. It's pretty cool. So we have Combustion Glove, another equip. Um, only equipped to a fire element. Equipped here gets 50 attack. Uh, I can attack two heroes this turn. I think we've already seen one of these. Didn't we get one of those... Right off the bat. Or am I imagining things? No, oh, we did get one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's our second copy there of the Combustion Glove. Uh, there's another Bubble Bazooka. Battle Ring. Okay, this is a new one. This is a um, arena-type gadget. Um, all warrior-type heroes on the grid gain 50 attack. Uh, and it does have the continuous symbol. So that one just stays out, then I guess permanently buffs all the warrior heroes. Uh, unfair match. When your opponent summons a hero from a card effect, you can summon one hero from your deck at the same level. Spend coins equal to the hero's level. Okay, that's a trap. Thunder Soldier. Uh, when this hero is summoned, select one hero on your side of the grid. Selected hero cannot be destroyed during your opponent's next turn. That's pretty good. Uh, as a one cost. 
I think all of the units we've seen so far are either one or zero cost. I don't think we've seen a two cost yet. Yep, they're all ones or zeros. I wonder if there's any two costs in the starter deck. Uh, so with the Thunder Apprentice, uh, I think we've already seen him. He was the first card we saw. Is that right? Maybe not. Uh, I guess I've all mi I mixed it all up now. Uh, anyway. Got another Superior Shield Crush. Another copy of Sea Explorer. Ooh, Molten Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, there's a two cost. Um, and it's one of the dinosaurs, which we really like. So that's pretty sweet. You've got two Molten Class Heroes on your side of the grid. You can summon this hero from your dungeon by spending two coins. Interesting. So if you have two other Molten Dinosaurs on the field, I guess you can play him from the graveyard. That seems really good. Uh, we've got another copy of Molten Stegosaurus. Another Flame Elf. Another copy of Exchange. Another Electrician. Another Drop. A Burner Lizard. Okay, that's a new one. Uh, gains 50 defense for each fire element here on your side of the grid. Okay, seems good. This is your cost. Broken Wand. Trap card. If your opponent activates a magic gadget, negate it and send it to their dungeon. Oh, it also looks... I missed this before. It looks like uh, that's what the rarity is. I was trying to figure out how to tell rarity um, on the cards. Okay, so we have an Aqua Mage. Looks like this one's MR. I don't remember what that stands for. I probably Mythic Rare. Uh, so something along that rare uh, that line of thought. Uh, so Aqua Mage here. Uh, when he attacks, you can select a Water Element Hero in your dungeon. Move it to your hand. Okay. That's when he attacks. Okay, that seems pretty good. Seems really good, actually. Plus, he's uh, two cost, and he's got pretty good s attack. His defense is a little bit low, but that's fine. Uh, we have Underwater Aqua Temple. This is another continuous uh, arena card. All water element heroes on the grid gain 50 defense. All level zero water element heroes cannot be destroyed by gadgets. That seems good. Then we have a Thunder Mage. Did we already have Thunder Mage? I don't think so. Let me double check. We have Thunder Apprentice. Thunder Soldier. Thunder Apprentice again. No, we did not have Thunder Mage. Okay. This is the last new card. Um, also, the Aqua Mage, I just realized that is the third card on the, on the box art. Uh, so Thunder Mage, uh, one cost, twenty-five forty. Um, cannot be affected by magic gadgets. Your opponent cannot have four heroes on the grid while this hero is on the grid. If they do, choose one of their heroes and discard it. Okay, that seems really good. Um, all right, yeah, that's that's common. So it looks like probably the Aqua Mage and the. Tyrannosaurus, those are going to be our um, rare cards. Wait, was he... Nope, there he is. He's only an uncommon. Okay, so it looks like just the Aqua Mage is our the rare card. We've got the Unfair Match, that's a rare as well, it looks like. As well as the Combustion Gloves, that's interesting because we've got two of those. And Blizzard is also rare. So, alright, awesome. Well, guys, uh, that's the first deck. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end here for today. Uh, we showed you uh, all the stuff we got from the Game Crafter, um, and we got to see the uh, Water, Fire, and Electric deck. And uh, tomorrow we're going to go ahead and look at the Nature, Dark, and Light deck. Um, yeah, I just I want to make sure that I take enough time. I uh, don't go too fast on this, since this is a newer game for me. And uh, in case it's new for a lot of you guys too, I want to make sure that we uh, get a chance to look at all the cards in depth instead of just like breezing through it. So yeah, we're going to end there for today. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, be sure to head over to Rachel's channel if you haven't. Check out her how to play video um, and uh, go ahead and check out her Game Crafter page as well. Pick up this game because it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I've seen her uh, play it once already and I'm pretty stoked to play it. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to until a little bit later in this week, just be with my work schedule the way it's been. Um, 
so yeah, once again, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. Um, subscribe for more homemade TCG magic and Pokemon content. As always, guys, take it easy.